know, I used to buy sprouts, alfalfa sprouts and different types of sprouts in the market all the time until I realized and learned how easy it is to grow them myself right in the windowsill at home. The benefits of eating sprouting, sprouted seeds is definitely the nutritional value. What happens when a seed sprouts is that it initiates a whole cascade of events that results in the production of lots of nutrients and enzymes within the seed to ultimately allow the plant to grow and that are um, extremely beneficial for us as well. And it takes very little equipment to do it, just the seeds and a few things that I'm going to show you and um, you can have them all the time. So I wanted to show you how to do that. Okay, so the things that you need to get started with sprouting are whatever type of seed you're using. Today I'm using alfalfa seeds, shown here in this jar. You need a glass jar for the sprouting, and it can just be something you have on hand in the kitchen, or it can be like a traditional canning jar that has an insert in the cover. You need something to cover the jar, so I'm just going to use um, a piece of nylon stocking, which works very well. The, the pore sizes are very small, so the seeds won't fall through, but you can also use um, cheesecloth, or you can use a, a, a small screen. And then because I'm just using a regular jar that doesn't have, a, have holes in the top, I'll just use a rubber band to hold the, the stocking in place. And actually the last thing is some filtered water. So the first thing you're going to do is pour some seeds into the bottom of the jar. And I usually like to just cover, put a very thin layer covering the bottom of the jar. The next thing you want to do is add your filtered water to the jar of seeds. I usually do about halfway. You can add as much as you'd like, but give it a good amount of water. What you're going to do is soak these for several hours to overnight in this water. So at this point, I'll take my nylon stocking, I'll put it on the top, and then just secure it in place with the rubber band. These are the seeds that I started yesterday and I just rinsed them and you can see how they've already begun to sprout you can see the little tails there, little shoots coming out. So I'll rinse them again tonight and again for the next few days and you'll see them eventually start to fill up this jar. So it's the morning of the third day and I just rinsed these seeds and you'll notice that they've gotten even longer than yesterday. And two, if you can see inside here, they're actually beginning to fill the inside of the jar. So they're really starting to expand. And another thing to notice is they're primarily white at this point, although you can see um, a little bit of green starting to emerge just um, at the tip that's coming out of the seed coats and in another day or two they'll be much greener that one end and they'll also be filling the inside of this jar okay so I don't know if you can see how beautiful these are looking now they're turning a nice green color on the um, the shoots, the tips of the shoots, and this jar is getting pretty full, so probably by tomorrow I will actually harvest these. So I've just taken this jar from the windowsill. It's been um, in my windowsill for about four days now, and you can see how the seeds have uh, germinated and filled this jar. Um, with sprouts and over the last couple of days because they've been in the sun as well the tips of the shoots have actually turned green so they're now producing chlorophyll which is highly abundant in all green plants that's what, what makes them green and is actually very nutritious for us as well so now what I will do with these is I will take them out of the jar I'll rinse them and lay them out for a little while to let them drain and then I will refrigerate them and they will be good for a couple of days so you don't want to let them go any more than that 
So if you want to have fresh sprouts all the time, the best thing to do is to stagger jars so that you can have them going continuously. But with the way that these are so easy to do, that really shouldn't be a problem for you. So again, if you want to try, go to your, your uh, local natural food store and you can pick up seeds, any type of seed you want, and you'll be amazed at how easy it is to actually grow these right in your home any time of the year. So good luck and I hope you enjoy it and thanks for watching.